One thing I've come to realize through my lowest moments is that we are all crazy. We are all crazy. It's just that some people are better at hiding it. I've never been somebody that's good at hiding it. I've always been somebody that makes my problems known to the world. Because I would rather have other people think I'm crazy than for me to think that I'm crazy. One story that, that reminds me of this is I was, um, and I've told this story before. I was, um, you know, I was in college. I was living in this studio apartment in Champaign, Illinois, in a basement. There was a crackhead couple living above me. And you know, or they were doing some sort of drugs. I'm not entirely sure what, but they were up late at night arguing in this little shitty shit box apartment above me. And they were arguing late at night all the time. It was keeping me up on top of this. It's COVID shut down. I'm not really seeing anybody. It's the middle of the winter. The heat went out. It's cold as fuck in this place. And I got the oven open. I got the oven turned on and the door open to the oven just to heat up the apartment. It was like too late for the landlord to come. And it was like a weekend or something. So I'm in this basement and I probably haven't slept in about two days because I got this couple arguing above me and it's giving me fucking anxiety. On top of that, I'm popping Xanax every night, Xanax every night to fall asleep. Um, taking Adderalls every single day, m multiple, like two, three a day, just to get myself going, keep myself focused throughout the day and get myself out of that Xanax um, slumber. And I remember there's shit leaking down from my ceiling because they spilled something or because the toilet was leaking something. I never figured it out. It's cold as fuck. Like I'm, I'm in my Timbos with my socks tucked in or my pant leg tucked into my socks in my fucking apartment with the, with the oven on and it's still cold. I felt fucking crazy. During that time, every single day, I'd be looking out the window. There's these little like windows about eye level in this fucking basement apartment, right? I'd be looking out the window to see like street level, looking for cops on my block because all I was doing, I was serving motherfuckers out this swing door. I would walk up the stairs, open the swing door, serve a motherfucker. And there would be cops, there would be or there would be a cop monitoring this fucking Jewish fraternity across the street from me, like Hasidic Jews. And I, and I had like made eye contact with him several times as I'm opening this swing door, handing bags to people. And mind you, this is like, you know, 15, 20 serves a day. This is not like baby shit. I'm making eye contact with this guy. It's adding to my anxiety. And I'm, I'm convinced that the cops are after me. And they should have been, truthfully. I'm convinced that the cops are after me. So I'm looking out the, the these little fucking windows every night, every day and every night, multiple times a day. And this night, this couple is arguing above me. I got the fucking oven door open. There's shit leaking from the ceiling. 
I'm so cooped up on drugs that the, the Xanax and the Addy are fighting. So like I can't fall asleep, but I'm in like a, a meditative state almost while awake. I felt fucking crazy in that moment. That was probably the craziest I ever felt. It's the craziest I ever felt. No, I felt like nobody was by my side at that point. I had relationship issues with my family, it was falling out with all my friends. Nobody, nobody was there for me. It was just me having to come to my fucking demons in this basement. And I was listening to Three Six Mafia. I, <laughs> I was listening to Lord Infamous because that was the only person that I could listen to. And his music is like deranged, satanic. That was the only person that I felt like I could relate to at the time because everything else was all in my own head. At that moment, I realized I am fucking crazy. But it's not just me that's crazy. And what I've come to understand more so over the past couple years since then is that everybody is fucking crazy. What we don't realize, because at that time, I was so down on myself as a person. I came into college and I was getting women. I was, I joined a fraternity. And at that point, it was my senior year. I ended up in a position where I had no friends. My skin is breaking out. I'm not taking care of myself. All my gains had disappeared because I'm, I'm, I'm not really eating how I should be because I'm sniffing Coke every morning and I'm taking Addies every day. All my gains are gone. My face is breaking out. I'm in these fucking crazy ass clothes that I spent my drug money on. I, got, I had no women. I'm jerking off every single day. I felt fucking crazy. And I think a big part of that was that I wasn't able to embrace my masculine side. I wasn't able to embrace that dark masculine energy. We all are fucking, all of us on this earth are literally creatures competing. We are competing for the women, we are competing for the resources, and you can act like whatever the fuck you want. The guys who are not competing are going to be eliminated from society their bloodline will not be passed down. And as we see it nowadays, we have so many fucking incels. We have so many fucking guys that are sitting like fucking cockroaches in their little fucking apartments, fat as fuck, playing video games, smoking weed, jerking off, not living a lick of fucking life and they're plugged into their phone, they're plugged into social media, they're plugged into these dumbass video games. Why the fuck do you need to play video games? Life is a fucking game. That's why we have fucking video games because they imitate life. Why would you want something that's the imitation? Why would, you, why would you not want the real thing? But see, that's the thing with the majority of us. We don't want the real thing. We want to go fuck prosthetic pussies. We want to go fuck blow up sex dolls and fuck pocket pussies. We want to we wanna watch somebody else fuck a bitch. And we want to play with ourselves like that's her hand. Really think about yourself right now. Really think about yourself right now. And I know the people who aren't spiritually awakened, the people who don't really see shit for the way it is, probably think I'm crazy right now. <laughs> really think about that. Imagine you were in the same room as those two people fucking that you're watching on Pornhub. And you're in the corner stroking it. 
what the fuck would you feel like? But see, that's the majority of the life. That's the life the majority of us are living. Because we never think fucking critically. And we're taught to go against all our fucking urges. Our urge to compete. Our urge to get women. All of this, we're all, we're all shut down. Everything today as men is desexualizing us, desexualizing society. We are moving to a society where men are becoming more feminine and women are becoming more masculine. We might be a, we might be a sexless society in a couple hundred years. And as we can see it, we have people who are changing sexes. And we're promoting that. We're promoting that. We're promoting that deception. That's what we've come to. And this is not me saying it as that I don't believe there's any hope for society. I do believe there is hope for society because the fucking pussies will be weeded out. The guys who are busting nuts in their hands every night. The guys like myself at that point, taking drugs to make themselves feel not crazy just so they blend in. That's why I say addicts are some of the most spiritually enlightened people. Especially when you're taking something like Xanax, which just dumbs you down. If you want to be a walking fucking zombie, somebody that's just plugged in, take Xanax, take Adderall. Don't do that. Addicts are some of the most spiritually enlightened people, whether you believe it or not, because they know, they really have a desire for realness, real emotions, real people but they're not able to get it in this society. So they turn towards drugs or they're not able to get it easily. But once they put that addiction towards something productive, they become some of the realest fucking people. Just like people who do combat sports are some of the realest fucking people because they realize that everything in life is a fucking game and that we are all in competition And if you've ever been punched in the face repeatedly by another man, you will see your fucking dark side come out. You will see the world for the way it is. When you've hit your lowest moments. When you feel fucking crazy. But I want you to know, it's not just you. They will make it feel like it's just you. They will make it feel like it's just you so that they can dumb you down. So that they can desexualize you. So that they can strip you of your power. I really believe all this shit is going on. Yes, I do. 100% I do. Everything is desexualizing us, man. Everything is taking the competition away from society, turning us into pussies, turning us into emasculated men. Our lives are getting easier. And so the majority of guys are losing that urge. We see a lot of guys having erectile dysfunction. We see a lot of guys having porn addictions. We see a lot of guys smoking weed every day. There's nothing wrong with smoking weed. But when you use it for the wrong reasons, when it controls you and you don't control it. You have to you have to really look at shit the way it is. The way I look at shit now, I was addicted to video games when I was like 10, 11 years old. I can't even play a video game anymore because I instantly start feeling like a piece of shit because I, I see the world differently. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. I don't know what made me think this way. 
I don't know if it was the combination of all the psychedelic experiences I've had, all the fucking drugs I've done. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just, but this is who I've always been. I've always been somebody who people have labeled as crazy. People have labeled as, you know, having mental health issues. Oh, he's crazy. I just don't fucking hide it. I'm not gonna go out in public and fucking start screaming and shit. I'm not gonna act like I'm a fucking monkey, but I'm somebody that's not great at hiding his attempts, intentions. Nor do I believe you should be. I believe there's a lot of guile and disguise going on in today's society. There's a lot of sneaky, weird shit. And you have to be able to take steps back and meditate and really look at shit for the way it is. Because your unconscious mind can recognize anything. And that's what made me think to make this video because I was meditating before I recorded this. And I was realizing some of this shit. I was realizing like, damn, I feel, I drank a good amount of caffeine. I was feeling pretty fucking anxious. And I was feeling kind of fucking crazy, but just walk into a gym nowadays, you will, you will see it all. Walk into a fucking commercial gym. You will see it all. Chicks with fucking ass implants. Chicks with dicks. One sex disguises the other. Look, I'm all for expressing yourself. But I'm not for disguising yourself. We, we, we have to stop. We have to stop feeling bad for our darkest intentions, or at least we're taught they're dark. Those masculine urges, the, the urge to compete. When you realize that everything in this society is a competition. You are in competition with other men. That is the fucking red pill. Once you realize it, you can't unsee it. A lot of people realize it and it drives them towards substances. It drives them to kill themselves. Almost drove me to do the same. But now I've learned how to fucking deal with it. And I realize everything is a competition and it, it almost makes me uneasy. When you think about you know, you are literally in a competition with other men. This is literally all a game. And one thing that's really helped me just with my overall mental state has been actually coming on YouTube and just voicing shit like this. because otherwise it gets bottled all up in your own head. And when you realize things for the way they are, a lot of other people who disguise themselves and disguise their intentions, play like they're these fucking nice guys, they will, they will, they will make you feel like you're crazy. They will outcast you. They will look at videos like this and shit on it and call guys like me and you crazy. Pay no mind to those fucking crabs. Pay no fucking mind to them. You gotta wake up. You gotta realize things for the way they are. For me, it was literally overdosing, almost dying, seeing what I put my family through 
It was being paranoid. It was selling drugs. It was literally seeing all the people around me separate out of my life that made me realize this. It's all a competition. It's all a game. And you can take that and be nihilistic with it like I was for a while. Or you can take that, accept it, and move with it. Roll with the fucking punches, literally and metaphorically. <laughs> so, I hope if you're feeling crazy right now, because I know I had some phases like that, I hope that if you're feeling crazy right now, you realize that the majority of people are just fucking liars. The majority of people are fucking crabs in a bucket. The majority of people are fucking just good at disguising themselves. And they spend their entire life in that disguise. But as somebody that's spiritually awakened, you can recognize that everything is not the way it seems. There's a lot of sneaky shit going on underneath the surface. There is some positive shit going on underneath the surface. So we're not gonna act all fucking negative. But be able to recognize what your masculine urges are, be able to recognize that you are not wrong for wanting to compete. You are not wrong for wanting to fucking clap cheeks. You are not wrong for wanting to lift some heavy ass weights. You are not wrong for wanting to speak out on this shit. And I really say this with like the utmost sincerity because if you can't come to terms with that stuff, a lot of guys take their lives. A lot of guys end up doing some crazy shit. And it's all sexually related when you really think about it. It's all sexually related. Be able to understand your masculine energy. Be able to understand how to move it and embrace it. Not bring it out all the fucking time like an animal. You still gotta be a social creature. You still gotta dumb it down a little bit but be able to move with it, be able to recognize that you're not the only person that feels this way. So I hope this video reaches you well. Drop a comment if it did, drop a like, you know, tell me if I'm fucking crazy. Um, subscribe to the channel, and most definitely, if you wanna get on the self-improvement grind, if you wanna find your purpose, if you wanna stop fucking around with all this bullshit that we put in society nowadays, Go ahead and hit that link in the description. Apply for my coaching program. Let's get you on board the fucking community.